Amen. Amen. This is a very short one. Philippians chapter 1. I was so surprised when people were saying all these things and I'm like, do they know what I'm going to talk about? Philippians chapter 1 from verse 5 to 6. Philippians chapter 1 from verse 5 to 6. I read, For your fellowship in the gospel from the first day until now, be confident of this very thing, that he who had begun a good work in you will complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. In some version they say, he will perfect it. Amen. Whatever the Lord has begun in your life, not in my life, in your life, which means that the Lord has begun something in all of us. And we are being told that whatever he has started, he will bring it to a successful end. I remember, I mean, all of us being here, gathered here today, is a very big testimony. Because I have seen Pastor Rachel alone in the church where there is no one before. She has gone through a lot. So if she says, all of us here, we are, living, we are a testimony. Indeed, it is a testimony. Amen. Because I remember there was one day, we were just going to give something to her and then go back home. And then when we went, she was alone. And I was like, ah, we have to go. And if I see the way my wife was crying when we decided to go back, she was crying, she was crying. And I was like, oh no, we can't go. Okay, let's go and sit down. And then we went to sit. And I see today, I know some are still not here. And to God be the glory. Using a sister's Bible. The, the sister, they testified about who didn't want to, to come to church. Sister Jillian, hello? Yes. Yeah. I'm now using her Bible. Amen. <laughs> Amen. And I want to say this. You may go to a church, you see a lot of people, but not all of them that are committed ones. Yeah. I always say it is better when you are in a church, you have six, three, four committed Yes. people who are committed to God, not to the pastor, not to the church. Yes. It is the best. Amen. We've had all night just three people, four people and when we prayed, it was as if the whole auditorium was full. We moved from one place to another place. From here to, I mean, you know, and I can even say that it could be a reason why some people have not followed us till this time. Mm. They were tired of moving from here to here, from here. But to God be the glory. Here we are. Mm. I saw one sister who has been so quiet. I always look at her. And at the point, she was the one reading announcement. And I'm like, wow, people can do this. And if you listen to the verse, it says because of the fellowship. And here we are like a family. We worship together. Yes. Your problem is other sister's problem. We are like sisters. We are brothers. And this is what we are being taught. And the Bible is telling us when we fellowship like this, 
This is the confidence that we have in the Lord. Yes. That whatever he has begun in our lives, all of you, whatever he has planted in you, he will water it and make sure that it grow into a big tree. Amen. And then people will eat of your fruit and they will testify on your behalf. Amen. Amen. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Maybe some people, they were looking at your downfall. They were looking and waiting. Mm -hmm. Some people, they meet you and they are like, oh, is that you? Yeah. Not because they are so happy to meet you, but maybe something they have done and they are still surprised you are walking around and you are still happy and you are still, you have peace and you are still going. Ah, is that you? Mm -hmm. Maybe in those days you are not even looking good. Now they see you and it's like, ah, now she is looking. <laughs> what is happening? Mm -hmm. Maybe the things they did at night, mm -hmm. it didn't work because... You have a God who has said that whatever he has begun in your life, he will make sure he sees you through to the end. We have some few days to the end of the year. Maybe you've been looking up to God for something. And I'm so happy that people are giving testimonies and of all the months, why should it be December? Why? But you see, we always say last days are very dangerous. Mm -hmm. That is when the enemy operates. Mm -hmm. If you give yourself away, then they conquer. But the Lord has said, if only we will stay under his feet, he will always protect us. He will be with us. And he will make sure that all things ends well with us. If you are alive today, do not be afraid of what is coming the following year. Because the Lord has called you by your name. And he knows where he is taking you. Amen. Trust in the Lord. And he will, follow you, he will order your footsteps. Amen. Amen. He knows where to guide you. Where you are not supposed to go. He will make sure some, something will happen. You will be angry. Something will happen. You, you, you will talk. You are a human being. You will misbehave. You will do things. But it is for your own good. He knows where to put you. Because if he leaves you, then because of his own namesake, mm. the enemy will have the cause to rejoice. Mm. But there is no one who can rejoice over the Lord because he is a conqueror. And he has made us conquerors. Mm -hmm. And to the glory of God, we are all entering into the next year with victory. Amen. 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 So thank you, Sister Agnes. We are wearing white, not for anything, but signifying the victory which is ahead of us. Amen. Amen. Amen.